Hello and welcome. Uh, I hope you're doing very, very well. Welcome to October's Diabetes Technology Report. Um, in this video, uh, I will address the Omnipod wall in the room. Um, oh my god, I am so excited about it. Uh, but we will get there. We will get there. Just hold on. I will talk about it at the end of the video. Um, in this month's video, um, we talk everything tech uh, that happened in October, and this includes... Tandem announced that they are working with Abbott to integrate the Freestyle Libre system with Tandem's insulin pump. Dexcom G6 Pro has been approved in the US. Dexcom also launched an online support tool called Product Support Request so you don't have to call them and more. Diabetes technology, artificial pancreas, implantable CGMs, insulin pens, closed loop systems. We are not waiting. Okay, so let's start with the biggest uh, tech news this month. My Omnipod wall, no, I'm just joking. Tandem working with uh, Freestyle Libre. On 15th of October, Abbott and Tandem announced they are working to integrate their devices. Abbott's senior vice president said in a press release, We are ensuring our products have interoperability, creating a cohesive ecosystem where people with diabetes can manage their condition across devices from us and other companies seamlessly. So currently, Tandem's insulin pump, Tesla X2, only works with Dexcom products, with Dexcom G5 and Dexcom G6. Now Tandem wants their pump users to have a choice between a Freestyle Libre or a Dexcom. Tandem's special approval allows for reliable and secure communication with compatible external devices like Abbott's next generation Freestyle Libre system. This press release has not specified which generation of Libre would work with Tandem's pump. We learned that Abbott and Tandem are currently in discussions regarding a final agreement for the technical implementation of device integration and associated commercial support activities. It is greatly summarized in this statement. Our company share a dedication to helping expand the available treatment options for the diabetes community so that people can experience the benefits of automated insulin delivery systems using a combination of devices they feel best meets their individual needs. Next up, Dexcom G6 Pro. Um, so Dexcom G6 Pro um, has just been approved by the American FDA. Um, this time last month, I was talking to you about the European approval of a brand new CGM from Medtronic, which is also a Pro um, CGM. Similar to Medtronic, G6 Pro collects data about your glucose levels and sends them to the healthcare professional for monitoring and analysis. Now, interestingly, Dexcom G6 Pro um, has a uh, mode called unblind mode. All Pro CGMs are what we call blind CGMs because they don't show any values to you, just to the healthcare professional. But it has an unblind mode, uh, which shows you values just like with a G6 system. And um, G6 will hit your clinics in <laughs> Q1 of 2020. <laughs> Do you get it? I have a new saying now where normally people would be like, it's going to hit the shelves, but it's not going to hit the shelves because this is healthcare. So it's going to hit your clinic in Q1 of 2020. Please give me a thumbs up for that. Now some Omnipod news. Now, uh, not nothing to do with my wall, not yet. Um, Omnipod has been approved with Fiasp in the US, so you can now use Fiasp rapid acting insulin in your pod in the US. It was approved in Europe with Fiasp this time last year, and it is now approved in Europe and the US. If you want more information about Fiasp or Omnipod, please speak to a uh, provider. And lastly, Dexcom launched a really cool feature which allows you to report any potential issues that you may have with your uh, CGM and request a callback so you don't have to call them and um, be on the phone. They will just call you back when, when the next person is available or, you know, that kind of stuff. So which I think is very useful. Um, it probably easier than calling, just filling in a form online. So if you want link to that website, I'm going to put it in the video description. 
So those are your diabetes updates. Now uh, I've got a couple more things I wanted to talk to you about. So we're just gonna have a small chat. Get your tea ready. Um, and so first of all, uh, you're watching this in November. So happy Diabetes Awareness Month. Um, I hope you're just excited about November as I am. I love November for, for, for two reasons mainly. It's Diabetes Awareness Month and Pumpkin Spice Lattes. So, you know, what's not to love about November? I am celebrating in style with my wonderful Omnipod wall, which is currently being constructed, but more on that in a minute. Um, yeah, so happy Diabetes Awareness Month. If you are interested, I am doing a talk at Taipon and Tech event in Swansea in Wales. So if you local, you can go there and um, take part. I'm going to put links in the description. But also, if you cannot make it uh, physically, you can make it virtually because the entire event, including my talk, will be live streamed on YouTube. So uh, as soon as they have a link, I'm going to put it in the video description or you can just Google it um, so you can watch it live. And I think the recording of it will be available on YouTube afterwards as well. Although I don't know. I think so. So uh, I'm very excited about it. So tune in to see what um, my favorite diabetes apps. Also, I thought I'd quickly talk about something called DQ&A. Now I'm going to do a separate video on this shortly, but I thought I'd quickly mention it now. Um, so uh, DQ&A, which I believe, I believe stands for Diabetes Questions and Answers, I think. Um, so um, it's a company which is all about basically collecting our feedback. And so I've been using them for two, like two years at this point, since they launched in Europe, basically. I think I was there since the very first survey in Europe. Um, and so uh, what they do is they basically sent out a survey with questions. And so in the UK, well, across Europe and Canada, they sent one survey every like six months and every three months in the US. And each survey has questions about things like um, maybe products that you use, like a CGM, meter, pump, maybe medication, um, or like future medication, or healthcare in general, you know, all things diabetes related, you know, all things that we have opinions on. And they basically collect that feedback from us about what we think about what's currently out there, what we would like to see, um, you know, what's good, what's bad, what's ugly. And they able they keep basically able to kind of capture that and provide that feedback to companies so they know what we want to see what we think about what's out there so i think that's a really meaningful way of kind of providing feedback to companies if you want more details i've got a link in the description um so um that's that and also when you complete a survey for dq a they um give you like 10 pounds or your local currency equivalent in euros or dollars which you can donate to a non-profit which is very kind, like G like JDRF. So you can just donate ten pounds to JDRF, which I think is great. Um, they have they work with many many charities, so there's a list uh, on their website, which is also in the description. Um, or you can also convert it into something like an iTunes voucher or a Starbucks voucher. Um, oh, it's funny how we came back to Starbucks after sugar free latte. No, not sugar free latte. The other flavor thing in Starbucks, pumpkin spice latte. Yeah, so anyway, if you want more details, a uh, link will be in the video description. Okay, so let's address the Omnipod wall in the room. Uh, I am so excited about this. First of all, huge shout out to my dad for being the person that actually turns my ideas into reality. Like like, like this massive pod um, or this. This is by far my favorite thing. Um, and um, oh god, my iPad is out of battery oh god it's not going well battery is low my massive pod is down oh god don't mess with your pods kids okay 10% battery left on my iPad we need to move this along so whoa pods LED lights together boom bam beam how many 200 at the moment uh, ultimately the entire wall will have about a thousand pods that's right, one, zero, zero, zero. That is a lot of pods. That is scientifically proven to be, quote, a lot of pods. Scientists all agree that a thousand pods is a lot. And so huge, 
huge shout out to everyone who has donated their old pots to me on Instagram. You are the best. This simply would not have been possible without you. Because I only had 50 pods. Um, and if you are interested in, in donating your old expired pods to me, please reach out on email or Instagram or just contact me somehow um, on Instagram or email or Twitter. Uh, thank you so much in advance. Um, yeah. I'm so excited about it. Even already looks good. Also, it's very therapeutic. You know, uh, you just you can just sit here and and it's 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 so it puts you in the zone. You know, you know, it's 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 it's, it's yeah. And on that note, thank you so much for watching the October Diabetes Technology Report. Um, please let me know what you think about all of the things I've talked about in this month's video. Um, and yeah, I will see you soon in um, my videos in November. See you soon.